When you think about grief, you may think of the loss of a loved one, maybe a parent or a grandparent. Grief uh, can also become the uh, result of a big life change, maybe parents divorcing or moving to a new place away from your friends. Grief can make people feel angry or sad or anxious, and coping isn't very easy all the time. One Durham woman wants to change the conversation around grief by starting a conversation about healing. WRL's Destiny Patterson shares her story. Laughter and good food can go a long way. It's something these two bond over. Another thing they have in common, grief. I've lost both of my parents and I was divorced. And that like should not happen to a 31 year old. Rebecca Feingloss was a child when her mother died. The message I got from society is that I was doing very well if I didn't talk about that to us. She turned that feeling into words in the form of a blog and eventually a business. She named it Grieve Leave. At what point did you realize that not talking about it was not gonna cut it for you? I had this feeling at the end of 2021, like I feel like I feel so overwhelmed. If my entire world was that far apart, then the least that I could do was help somebody else. She noticed something missing in her conversations around grief. Everybody else in this middle, you know, young adult age range, there aren't an upset wars, period. Aya Dorsey agrees. She says she created this restaurant in honor of her loved ones who've passed away. I lost my brother. Crafting these meals helped fill a void to know she's not alone. Everybody got to eat. Everybody likes to and be able to prove. While laughter and good food won't solve all of our problems, they plan to use them as tools to open the door to healthy conversations surrounding grief. Destiny Patterson, WREL News, RTP. And we should mention that Dorsey and Feingloss are hosting an event tonight at the Box Yard at RTB from 6 until 8 p.m. Hmm, powerful.